waste a step.
действия.
comes. I'm ready. I'll take this way. Lovely day, yes. For now. Still breathing, despite everything. Absolute's forces have taken Duke Ravengard to Moonrise Towers. The powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? Broken. Need to find another way. Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. 
and a great kindness that would be. See, Gail? Even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... Uh, well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. There go our best supplies. Always room for more? Friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? I mean no offense to the morning lord. I simply prefer when his monasteries aren't overrun with brutish, stupid, rude Gith Yankee. They have the audacity to call that hole a crash, as if it weren't actually a murderous training camp. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Uh... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. The Society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Hogwash, of course. A Gith Yankee can no more rise above its nature than gnomes can fly. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. I see this being a highly prosperous partnership. A word of advice. Avoid direct confrontation. Crash-bound Gith Yankee can be a deadly sword. 
What news of our little project? Have you... Very well. But I'll make note of how much time you waste trawling through baubles. today. Happy are we? Very well. Lost in thought. At least things have stayed interesting.
Breathe deep and move. Someone's left a trap out for us. Is that blood? No, never mind. don't mind my having ingratiated myself into the most palatable graces of your provisions. You find me quite sated indeed. Mmm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Arthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um... You see... I... Um... Well, that is to say... Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider... forgiveness? She would consider... what she considers to be forgiveness. Mr. is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. The very purpose of my presence, in a roundabout sort of way. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. The Orb. 
Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My nostra mistra Italian Ross Anna's It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. On my honor, I'm not sure yet I can say the same. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky's truven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come, ebb, come, flow, come, all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. The Doddering Act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms, perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, kind of you to stop by. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research is not. You only have a matter of days to live.
can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. I wish I shared your confidence. They must want that artifact back badly, if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. Yes. And she acts as Lady Shah's voice amongst mortals. She must be doing the Night Singer's bidding. I just don't know what it all means. All will be revealed in due time. I hope. If you're sure. Fine. I'll... Another step forward. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistress concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Mark my words, this power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. And when the it won't hear my scream, my faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might... It is done.
My step. <sighs> this view is almost worth the walk. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Looking ahead. Trigger that thing. Be careful. There are traps about. 